Hi guys, in the last part of the video, we introduced the rate equation, which links the rate of a reaction to the concentration of all of the reactants. We can rearrange this rate equation to give us an equation for the rate constant, k. So all we're going to do to rearrange this equation is divide through both sides by the concentrations of all of the reactants raised to the power of their respective orders. What this does is moves all of these concentrations raised to their powers round to the other side of the equation, leaving k effectively on its own, and the concentrations appear on the bottom side of a fraction like this. So now we have the rate divided through by the concentrations. So let's look at an example of calculating the rate constant k. So we're told that the initial rate in a reaction is 23 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per decimeter cubed per second, and A, reactant A is order 1, reactant B is order 2, and reactant C is order 0. We're then told the initial concentrations of each of these reactants. So for now, we're not going to worry about the units, we're just going to put in the values. So if we want the value of K, we use this equation here. So we take the rate, and this is given to us in the question as 23 times 10 to the minus 7, and we're going to divide through by the concentrations raised to the power of their orders. So for reactant A, its concentration is 0.1, and its order is 1, so we're raising to the power of 1 here. For reagent B, its concentration is 0.3 moles per decimeter cubed, and its order is 2, so we raise to the power of 2. And finally, for reagent C, we have a concentration of 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed again, and its order 0, so we raise to the power of 0. You could put all of this into the calculator like so, and you'd get the right answer. But one thing to note is if we have anything raised to the power of 0, this is the same as just having the number 1. And if we're multiplying by 1, everything else on the bottom, it doesn't actually change anything. So you don't need to include anything that's order 0 in the reaction. And again, raising something to the power of 1, you can put that through your calculator and get the right answer. But in fact, raising 0.1 to the power of 1 is still 0.1. It doesn't actually change this, so you don't actually have to include this power of 1 up here, but be sure to include the actual concentration. So if we put this through our calculator, we get a numerical answer of 2.56 times 10 to the minus 4, and that's correct to three significant figures. And we're going to talk about the units you would include for this in a moment. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise, exam board specific A-level chemistry videos, just click the snap revised smiley face here. Join me today and together, let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.